Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining me for another musical jamboree. Um, so today, um, I'm excited to join you. My name is Kayla Marie, and I work at the Portola Valley and Woodside branches of the San Mateo County Library. Um, I really miss seeing you in person, but I'm so glad that we get to be here virtually. Um, so I hope that you're ready to sing and dance and play with me this afternoon. Um, remember that you can download the lyrics um, just from the link that's underneath this YouTube video. It will take you to a, a list of where all of our virtual programs are and you can get the lyric sheet there. And it's much more fun if you sing along. So you'll, I hope you'll do that. You may also wanna grab a few other things to start. So um, I don't have my story time shakers or my story time scarves here with me. So I made one. Um, here is my shaker. I just have a Tupperware and it's filled with some nuts. You can also do this with a sippy cup, grab a box of macaroni. Maybe you can make a shaker with a toilet paper tube and some duct tape and some nuts or rice or beans. So I hope you have something you can use as a shaker. And then another thing um, that you could get is something to use as a scarf. So here is what I have as a scarf today. It's a little washcloth. You can use a washcloth, a bandana, maybe even an old t-shirt, whatever you would like to use, um, you can do that. So go ahead and grab those things. And as you're doing that, we are going to learn how to say hello in some different languages. So this month, May, is Asian Pacific American Heritage Month. And so to celebrate, I thought that we could you know, take some time to learn how to say hello in some different languages. <clears throat> so, and then we're gonna sing a song to practice. So we're gonna start with saying hello in Mandarin. So saying hello in Mandarin goes like this, ni hao. Can you say that with me? One, two, three, ni hao. Good job. And then let's practice saying hello in Japanese. So hello in Japanese is konnichiwa. So let's try to say it together. Konnichiwa. Good job. Now let's learn how to say hello in Korean. It's yobaseyo. Can you try that with me? Yobaseyo. Good job. Don't worry, you don't have to remember all of this. I'll remind you. And like I said, we're gonna sing a song, so we'll repeat it a lot. The next one we're gonna learn is how to say hello in Hindi. And that is namaste. Can you say that? Namaste. Good job. And let's learn how to say hello in Hawaiian. Let's say aloha. Can you say that with me? Good job. Aloha. And then we'll learn how to say hello in Tagalog. And that is kamusta. Kamusta. Great job. So we're gonna try singing a song here, but don't worry. Um, like I said, we're gonna repeat it a lot. So I hope that you will join me. The song, we're gonna start with clapping. So I hope that you'll clap along and we'll sing clap everybody and say hello. So we're gonna start with English and then we'll start adding some in, okay? Let's try it. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello. Clap everybody and say hello, no matter what the weather. Okay, so now we're gonna clap and say ni hao, which is Mandarin for hello. Let's try it. Clap everybody and say ni hao. Clap everybody and say ni hao. Clap everybody and say ni hao, no matter what the weather. Okay, so now we're gonna jump. Okay, for the next two, we'll jump. And this time we're gonna say, jump everybody and say konnichiwa, which is hello in Japanese. Let's try it. Jump everybody and say konnichiwa. Jump everybody and say konnichiwa. Jump everybody and say konnichiwa. No matter what the weather. Good. So we're gonna jump again, but we're gonna say yobaseyo, which is the is hello in Korean. Okay. Jump everybody and say yobaseyo. Jump everybody say yobaseyo. Jump everybody say yobaseyo. No matter. Okay, we have three more and we're gonna do wiggles next. So we'll say wiggle everybody and say namaste, which is hello in Hindi. Wiggle everybody and say namaste. Wiggle everybody say namaste. Wiggle everybody say namaste, no matter what the weather. Good job. And we're gonna keep wiggling and we're gonna say aloha. 
Wiggle everybody and say aloha. Wiggle everybody and say aloha. Wiggle everybody and say aloha. No matter what the weather. Okay, and we're gonna clap one last time and we're gonna say kamusta. Ready? Clap everybody, say kamusta. Clap everybody, say kamusta. Clap everybody, say kamusta. No matter what the weather. Great, thank you for trying that with me. I know it was a lot of different languages and that's okay because we'll keep practicing this song each week uh, of May and you can get better and better at it. And I think it's really fun for kids to learn different languages, especially at a young age to just be exposed to them. And it helps them see that everybody is different and everybody um, you know, has something to bring and, and has an interesting culture. Um, so I, I, I hope that you will continue practicing this with the lyric sheet at home. And we are going to sing our regular um, opening song, I'm in the mood for singing. Okay, well, let's try it. Ready? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for singing. Singing along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. Glad you're in the mood for singing. Are you also in the mood for dancing? Maybe you can wave your scarf around, perhaps. Let's sing. I'm in the mood for dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for dancing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for dancing. Dancing along with Now, are you also in the mood to play? So maybe you grab your shaker here. Maybe you play some air ukulele, getting practice for our next song. Let's try it. I'm in the mood for playing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for playing. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for playing. Playing around with job everybody singing that song and next we have a very fun song where we're going to pretend to play instruments so you might not have a guitar or ukulele at home but that's okay because you can pretend to play so you can play air guitar okay and we're going to start with the guitar we're going to sing if you're happy and you know it play guitar and we'll go pick pick okay let's try it if you're happy and you know it, play guitar, pick, pick. If you're happy and you know it, play guitar, pick, pick. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, play guitar, pick, pick. Okay, now we're going to switch to the ukulele. So get your air ukuleles out. Ready? Oops. Okay, I'm ready. So we'll sing it again and we'll go strum, strum. If you're happy and you know it, play ukulele, strum, strum. If you're happy and you know it, play ukulele, strum, strum. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, play ukulele, strum, strum. Good job. And now we're going to get out our banjos. So this is my banjo lele So it is tuned like a ukulele, but it has a banjo-shaped body, and it gets that banjo twang. So that's what we're going to say when we sing this one. Twang, twang. If you're happy, if you're happy and you know it, play your banjo twang, twang. If you're happy and you know it, play your banjo twang, twang. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, play your banjo twang, twang. Good job. Now you can get out your shakers here, or maybe you brought some pots and pans, or maybe you just have your legs like I'm using today. And we're gonna sing, if you're happy, you know it, play your drum and we'll go beat, beat. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, play your drum, beat, beat. If you're
you're happy and you know it, play your drum beat, beat. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, play your drum beat, beat. All right, I have a surprise for you. If you didn't see me last week, I have one last instrument that we're gonna try. And I'm gonna take my headphones out so you can see it. This is my upright bass. This is the first instrument that I learned how to play. And I'm gonna play it here for you. So we're gonna pretend that we're playing a big old bass. You can see it's taller than me. It can't even fit in the video. So let's pretend, okay? If you're happy and you know it, play your bass. Thump, thump. If you're happy and you know it, play your bass. Thump, thump. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, play your bass. Thump, thump. Great job. Wow, we played so many different instruments. Let me shift the camera back. Thank you for participating in that song with me. That was so much fun. All right, let's sing mm Ah Went the Little Green Frog. So this one, if you've done this with me before, you know that it can get silly. It plays with the sounds that maybe some animals make or don't make. So we're gonna sing the song and you'll catch on. So I hope you'll sing with me. Mm ah went the little green frog one day. Mm ah went the little green frog. Ah, went the little green frog one day, and they all went mm ah. But we know frogs go shana na 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 na, shana na 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 na, shana na 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 na. We know frogs go shana na 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 na. They don't go mm ah. That was silly, huh? What should we do next? Maybe we'll do a big brown bear. What does the big brown bear say? Grr, grr. Let's try that. Grr, grr went the big brown bear one day. Grr, grr went the big brown bear. Grr, grr went the big brown bear one day. And they all went grr, grr, grr. But we know bears go hoggy, hoggy, hog. Hoggy, hoggy, hog. Hoggy, hoggy, hog. We know bears go. Good job. Let's do the little fish, the little blue fish. And the little blue fish, maybe it goes bloop, 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 bloop. Let's try that. Bloop, bloop went the little blue fish one day. Bloop, bloop went the little blue fish. Bloop, bloop went the little blue fish one day. And they all went bloop, bloop, bloop. But we know fish go kissy, kissy, kiss. Kissy kiss, kissy kissy kiss. We know that fish go kissy kissy kiss. They don't go bloop bloop bloop. Great job on that silly song. Thanks for joining me. All right, we're going to do shake my sillies out because I think we need to get a little bit of our wiggles out. We're going to do a few different verses for this one. So this song I think is really great. Um, it's a good reminder that it's Mental Health Awareness Month as well. Um, because this song is really good for just um, dealing with emotion. So whether you have, you know, you have some jiggles and wiggles that you need to get out, whether you're tired or you're feeling sad or you're grouchy or you're just, you know, you just need to wave your worries away. This is a really good one to do that for grownups and for kids. So I hope you'll sing along. We're going to start by shaking our sillies out so you can shake or maybe shake your shaker. And then we're going to stomp our grouchies out and then we're going to jump our jiggles out and then we're gonna spin our sleepies out and we'll wave our worries out so we can wave our worries out too, okay? So let's start with shake my sillies and I'll remind you what we're gonna do next, okay? I'm gonna shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Wiggle my wackles away. Okay, we're gonna stomp our grouchies. I'm gonna stomp, stomp, stomp my grouchies out. Stomp, stomp, stomp my grouchies out. Stomp, stomp, stomp my grouchies out. Wiggle my waddles away. Okay, we're gonna wave our worries out. I'm gonna wave, wave, wave my worries out. Wave, wave. Jump our 
she goes out. I wanna jump, 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 my jiggles out, jump, jump, jump. In our sleepies. I'm going to spin, spin, spin my sleepies out, spin, spin, spin my sleepies out, spin, spin, spin my sleepies out, wiggle my waggles away. Good job, everyone. Thank you for shaking your sillies out with me. That was so much fun. So, next, we have a song. If you see the lyric sheet, it's called If All the Sun Rays. But I don't know if it's raining where you are, but it is raining where I live. And so I don't feel like it's fit to sing if all the sun rays, if the sun rays are not present. So let's go ahead and switch the lyrics to the traditional if all the raindrops, where lemon drops and gum drops. And we're gonna start with that, and then we might add some more in just to be silly. So let's start with if all the raindrops, where lemon drops and gum drops. Ready? If all the raindrops were lemon drops and gum drops, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Okay, so now what is, I wonder what your favorite food is. Can you tell me on the count of three? One, two, three. Oh, so many good foods. I don't know how I'm gonna pick one. Hmm, I really like strawberries and strawberries are just coming into season. So maybe we should do strawberries hmm. and chocolate. Do you like chocolate? If not, it's okay. Hopefully you like strawberries. Let's sing. If all the raindrops were strawberries and chocolate, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. Ah, 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 ah. If all the raindrops were strawberries and chocolate, oh, what a world it would be. Hmm, what else could we do? What about, do you like ice cream? Really? Ice cream is good, right? Let's try ice cream and hmm, apples. Apples are yummy, huh? Let's try that. If all the rain drops for ice cream and apples, oh, what a world it would be. I'd stand outside with my mouth open wide. so distracted because it's so yummy. Thank you so much for singing that one with me. Um, I hope that's one you can do either in the sunny weather with the lyrics that are on the sheet or in the rain. We are going to do slippery fish next. So slippery fish, I'll need help with the motion. So I'm going to show you the motions and I hope that you'll do them with me while I play the guitar. Let's get our hands together. This is our slippery fish. And then we have an octopus. You can wiggle your octopus arms. Good job. And then we have a tuna fish, which is a bigger fish. You can make your arms long for the tuna fish. And then we have a great white shark and a humongous whale. Okay, let's try it. And I'll, re I'll remind you, so don't worry. We're gonna start with our slippery fish. Slippery fish. Slippery fish swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Oh no! It was eaten by an octopus. An octopus, an octopus swimming in the water. An octopus, an octopus. Gulp, gulp. Go. Oh no, it was eaten by a tuna fish. A tuna fish, a tuna fish swimming in the water. A tuna fish, a tuna fish. Go, go. Oh no, it was eaten by a great white shark. A great white shark, a 
great white shark swimming in the water. A great white shark, a great white shark. Go, go, go. Oh no, it was eaten by a humongous whale. A humongous whale, humongous whale swimming in the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Bird? Excuse me. Great job, everybody. Thanks for being so silly with me. All right, it's time now to go to the moon. Are you ready to go to the moon? So we're gonna sing zoom, zoom, zoom. But for this, we learn a little bit of sign language. So we're gonna keep zoom, zoom, zoom the same. And then we'll say we're going. So this is the sign for going. And this is the sign for moon. So we're going to the moon. And then when we climb aboard the rocket ship, this is a sign for climb, like you're climbing on a ladder. Okay, I'm gonna get a sip of water and then we'll get started. All right. So, and also remember, if you are a little one, get help from your grown up so that you can blast off. And if you're a big kid like me, you can blast off like this yourself and jump up. Okay? Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. everyone all right who wants to go to the sun yeah let's go fun 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 we're going to the sun okay ready fun 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 we're going to the sun fun 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 we're going to the sun if you want to take a trip climb aboard my rocket ship gosh do you want to go to the stars next yeah okay so we're gonna go far 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 we're going to the stars so we're going to the stars you're just going back and forth with your fingers ready far 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 we're going to the stars far 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 we're going to the stars if you want to take a trip Far, 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 we're going to the stars in five, four, three, two, one, blast off! Great job! I got so excited, I wanted to go early. Okay, great job, everybody. I hope you got to blast off. We are now going to sing a super silly song, and it deals with our imagination. So first, can you pretend that you, you can think of the best world for kids, the most fun thing for kids to play in, like maybe like an amusement park or something. What's the best thing? And that's what this song's about. It's called Big Rock Candy Mountain. And it is an old camp song and it's very silly. So I hope you enjoy and sing along with me. Remember to wave your scarf or your shake, or shake your shaker, okay? <clears throat> oh, the Big Rock Candy Mountain is the perfect place for kids. Your allowance grows on bushes and the cookie jars don't have lids. You can have your choice of any pet in the Big Rock Candy Zoo. There's a root beer lake you can dive into. You can paddle all around it in your big canoe in the Big Rock Candy Mountain. On the buzzing of the bees and the bubble gum trees and the soda water fountain. The lemonade springs where the bluebird sings in the Big Rock Candy Mountain. In the Big Rock Candy Mountain, you never change your socks. And little streams of apple juice come a bubbling down the rocks. There's no such thing as homework. It's your birthday all the time. You can stay up late and your folks don't care. You can come to lunch and you're under. Big Rock Candy Mountain. 
singing that very silly song with me. I like to, to imagine that sometimes. All right, so now it's time for our favorite, sleeping bunnies. So get your little scarf and cover up. Oh, pretend to be a sleeping bunny, okay? Can you try that for me? And then, don't worry, I will tell you when to wake up. Are you ready? See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us gently wake them with the merry tune. Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up soon. Okay, bunnies, wake up. Shall we try it again? So go back to sleep, bunnies. Oh, good job. See the little bunny sleeping till it's nearly noon. Come and let us gently wake them with the merry tune. Oh, how still are they ill? Wake up soon. Okay, bunnies, wake up. It is time to sing our goodbye song. And if you've been coming to these a while, then you might notice this song's a little bit new. So I'm switching up our goodbye song a little bit. And this is a, so another song from camp. And that's just a really nice one. It, um, it was always sung at the end of camp. And um, so this is this one that touched my heart because I miss all of you. And it's a way that we can still come together through music. So I'm really grateful that we have this for us. And it's called Linger. <clears throat> I hope to sing along. Like to linger mm -hmm, a little longer, mm -hmm, a little longer here with you. Mm -hmm, such a perfect day, mm -hmm, how I wish I could say, mm -hmm, and keep on singing songs with you. Mm -hmm, as the days go by, mm -hmm, I'll think of you and say, mm -hmm, it's good day and not goodbye. Thank you so much for singing that one with me. Like I said, it is one of my favorites and I'm so glad I get to share it with you. So as you know, we do end our musical jamborees usually by playing more music. So feel free to download some music through our website at either Freegle or Hoopla. And um, I, I just, I'm so happy that we get together, eat, to get together each week and sing and dance and play. We miss you. And in fact, um, San Mateo County Libraries is launching a social media campaign to show you how much we miss you. So keep your eyes out on smcl.org and on our Facebook accounts and Instagram accounts so you can see messages from staff that shows how much we miss you. Um, so thank you again for coming to Storytime and I'll see you next time. So until then, I do wanna practice saying hello in one more language. I know we did a lot of languages already, but we're gonna practice saying hello in Spanish. And hello in Spanish, Hola. So let's practice together on the count of three. Let's say hola. One, two, three. Hola. Good job. Now, can we say hola to Erica, who will be doing a story time next, a bilingual Spanish story time? On the count of three, let's say hola, Erica. Ready? One, two, three. Hola, Erica. Adios, everyone. <laughs> Hola y bienvenidos a la hora de cuentos bilingües. Mi nombre es Señorita Erika y yo trabajo para las bibliotecas del Condado de San Mateo. Hello and welcome to Bilingual Storytime. My name is Miss Erika and I work for San Mateo County Libraries. Y ahora que ustedes saben mi nombre, me gustaría saber el nombre de ustedes. Así que lo que voy a hacer es voy a contar a tres en español y quiero que griten su nombre lo más fuerte posible para que lo pueda escuchar desde mi casa. 
So now that you know my name, I'd like to know your name as well. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and count to three in Spanish, and then I want you to yell your name as loud as possible so I can hear you from my house. ¿Están listos? Are we ready? Sí? Aquí vamos, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto means nice to meet you in Spanish. Can we practice saying mucho gusto together? ¿Podemos practicar diciendo mucho gusto juntos? ¿Sí? Muy bien. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Uno, dos, tres. Mucho gusto. It's very nice to meet all my friends at Storytime today. So we're going to go ahead and start with a good day song. Vamos a empezar con nuestra canción de buenos días. Así que vamos a necesitar nuestras dos manitas. So we're going to need our two little hands. Y van a escoger un dedo de cada mano. And then I want you to choose one finger from each hand to sing para cantar la canción. Ahora yo voy a usar mi dedo índice, pero ustedes pueden usar cualquier dedo que quieran. So I'm going to go ahead and use my index finger. But you can go ahead and choose whichever finger from your hand you would like to use. Y luego vamos a usar nuestra imaginación. Then we're going to use our imagination. Y vamos a imaginar que cada dedo es una persona. And we're going to imagine that each finger is a person. So vamos a cerrar los ojos. We're going to close our eyes. And we're going to imagine. Estamos imaginando. Imagining. Imaginando. Y aquí tengo mi persona número uno. So here I have my person number one. Y mi persona número dos. And my person number two. Y ahora vamos a cantar nuestra canción en español primero. So we're going to go ahead and sing our song in Spanish first. Aquí vamos. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Muy bien, que la cantaron muy bien. ¿Qué tal si la cantamos una vez más para nuestros amigos que la están cantando por primera vez? How about we sing that song one more time for our friends who are listening to it for the first time? ¿Sí? ¿Buena idea? ¿Es una buena idea? Ok, aquí vamos. Nuestra persona número uno, nuestra persona número dos. So let's go ahead and bring out our two persons. Y aquí vamos. Buenos días, buenos días. ¿Cómo estás? ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien, gracias. Muy bien, gracias. Y usted, y usted. Muy bien. A ver, ahora la vamos a cantar en inglés. So now we're going to go ahead and sing it in English. So we're going to bring out our person number one and our person number two. And here we go. Good morning, good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? How about we sing the song one more time? Here we go. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? How are you? Very well, I thank you. Very well, I thank you. How about you? How about you? Bravo, muy bien, que la cantaron muy bonito. I loved hearing everybody's voices together singing the song. Ahora vamos a leer nuestro primer cuento. So now we're going to read our first book of story time. Así que voy a necesitar mis lentes para leer. So I'm going to need my reading glasses. Y voy a compartir mi pantalla. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen so that we can all see the book together. Para que todos podamos ver el libro junto. Aquí vamos. Nuestro, cuen, nuestro primer cuento se llama, our first book today is titled, Mamá y yo, Mom and Me, escrito, oh, escrito, written by Dia Hall y Sydney Hansen, publicado, published by Paragon. A ver, aquí vamos. Here we go. El sol brilla y el cielo es azul. Estoy feliz y exultante. Hoy estaré con mi mamá. Será un día brillante. It's a beautiful day outside. The sky is blue. The sun is shining. And I am so happy because I'm going to spend all day with my mom. 
Chapoteamos en el río, nos salpicamos y nadamos. Y si nos sentimos valientes, nos agarramos de la mano. So we splash and swim in the river, and if we're feeling really brave, we hold hands and jump in. Pueden ver a la mamá oso aquí y el bebé oso que están agarrados de las manos. Can everybody see mama bear and baby here, here holding hands and jumping in the water? Si no veo que hay más allá o me siento insignificante, mamá me sube a los hombros y así me siento importante. And if I can't see very far or if I feel really smart and significant, Mom lifts me up and puts me on her shoulders, and then I feel very important. Miren como los aquí, como está chiquito, es un oso bebé, no puede ver muy lejos. Entonces mamá lo sube a su hombro y entonces puede ver acá arriba en el árbol que había un nido con un pájaro. So if everybody can see baby bears over here. So he's a baby bear, right? So he can't see very far into the trees. But then if mom puts him on her shoulders, then he's able to see the birds with the nest up high on the trees. Jugamos a las escondidas. Corremos y saltamos. Cuando hacemos la croqueta, que bien lo pasamos. We play hide and seek, and we run and jump, and we just have such a great time. Dedicamos unas horas a explorar y a construir una cabaña de madera. Y luego con nuestros amigos vivimos aventuras de primera. So we spend some time in the afternoon exploring and then we make this cabin out of wood. Can you see them working here? Hard here making their cabin out of wood. And then all our friends come over and we have some grand adventures. Todos están debajo de la cabaña que hicieron de madera. Everybody's playing in the cabin they made out of wood. Cuando me siento incómodo o un poco inseguro, mamá me tiende la mano y dejo de verlo todo tan oscuro. And then if I'm not feeling sure or insecure, mom lends me her strength in her hand and then I feel like I can do anything. Es cierto que a veces cometo errores, pero mamá no los tiene en cuenta. Me explica cómo hacerlo de nuevo, me ayuda paciente y contenta. And although it's true that sometimes I make mistakes, mom doesn't mind. She very patiently explains to me how to do it right. Y aquí vemos la mamá que le está ayudando al bebé oso, le está explicando cómo hacerlo correctamente. And here we have mama bear showing baby bear how to do things correctly. A mamá le encanta moverse con ritmo. Juntos bailamos y hacemos piruetas. Se sabe la letra de todas las canciones. Y yo la acompaño aunque no la sepa completas. Mom loves to move to the rhythm. Together we dance and we swirl. She knows the, the words to all the songs. And I like to sing along with her, even though I don't know all the words to the songs. Le explico todos mis secretos y ella los guarda a buen recaudo. Después me cuenta chistes divertidos, yo me parto de risa y aplaudo. And then I tell my mom all my secrets because I know that she'll keep them safe. And afterwards, she tells me some funny jokes that have me rolling on the floor and applauding. Y si estoy asustado o solo, o si me siento deprimido, mamá me escucha y me abraza para que deje de estar entristecido. And if I'm feeling scared or alone or sad, mom gives me a great big hug and listens to me. And then I feel better. De noche contamos estrellas y contemplamos el firmamento. En sus, en sus brazos me siento a salvo. Qué bonito y especial momento. And at night, we lie down on the floor and count the stars. In mom's arms, I feel safe. What a beautiful and special moment. Y si se mira bonito y especial, ¿verdad? Aquí miran a la mamá y el bebé acostados contando las estrellas. 
And that definitely looks like a special moment to me. You see mama bear and baby bear, they're just lying on the grass, counting the stars, having a good time. Acurrucado con mamá, no podría sentirme más feliz y bien. Quiero mucho a mi mamá y sé que ella me quiere también. Snuggle tight with mom is when I feel the happiest. I love my mom and I know that she loves me too. Y aquí los miran acurrucados. And here we can see how snuggle tight they are. They definitely look happy to me. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. The end. So that was the end of our first book. ¿Qué les pareció? ¿Les gustó? What did you think? Did you enjoy the book? ¿Sí? A mí también. Y me gusta mucho porque es un libro de mamás. Y como sabemos, este fin de semana fue el Día de las Madres. And I especially like it because the book was about moms. And we all know that this weekend was Mother's Day weekend. ¿Y saben qué es algo interesante sobre el Día de las Madres? Que en los Estados Unidos el Día de las Madres se celebra el segundo domingo de mayo. Pero en unos lugares como en México y El Salvador y Guatemala, el Día de las Madres se, se celebra, <laughs> disculpen esa palabra, se celebra el día 10 de mayo. So no importa en qué día para el día 10 de mayo. So si el día 10 de mayo para en un eh, viernes, entonces se celebra el día viernes. So a, a interesting fact about Mother's Day is that in the United States, we celebrate Mother's Day on the second Sunday of May. But some countries like Mexico and Guatemala and El Salvador, Mother's Day is celebrated on May 10th. So it doesn't matter which day Mother um, Day, May 10th falls on, that's the day that they celebrate it. So if May 10th falls on a Friday, then you celebrate it on a Friday. If it falls on a Saturday, then you celebrate it on a Saturday. So I remember growing up because my, um, my family's from Mexico, sometimes we would celebrate Mother's Day twice. So we would celebrate it on May 10th and then we would celebrate it on the second Sunday of May. This year, it just happens that May 10th fell on the second Sunday of May. So we celebrated it just one day this year. Uh, mi familia es de México, entonces uh, cuando uh, creciendo, nosotros celebramos el Día de Madre dos veces en mayo. So celebramos el segundo domingo en mayo Y también lo celebramos el día 10 de mayo. Pero este año pasó que el día 10 de mayo también cayó en el segundo domingo de mayo. Entonces este año solo lo celebramos una vez. Pero es interesante saber que diferentes países celebran el día de las madres en diferentes días. But it's very interesting to know that um, Mother's Day could be celebrated on a different day, um, depending on what place you're from. Bueno, ahora vamos a seguir con nuestra siguiente canción. So now we're going to go on to our next song que es una canción que a lo mejor ustedes ya se saben, que se llama Dos Manitas, Diez Deditos. Now it might be a song that you already know. It's called Two Little Hands, Ten Little Fingers. Levanten la mano si han escuchado esta canción antes. So raise your hand if you've heard this song before. Oh, parece que algunos de ustedes ya han escuchado la canción antes. Si no la han escuchado antes, no se preocupen porque la vamos a aprender hoy. So it looks like some of you have heard this song before, which is great. But for the other ones who haven't heard the song before, don't worry because we're going to learn it today. Así que primero lo vamos a cantar en español. First, we're going to sing it in, in Spanish. Así que vamos a necesitar nuestras dos manitas. So we're going to need our two little hands y nuestros diez deditos and then our ten little fingers. Y vamos a cantar la canción. And we're going to go ahead and sing the song. Here we go. Dos manitas, diez deditos. Dos manitas, diez deditos. Dos, dos manitas, diez deditos, cuéntalos conmigo. Uno, dos, tres deditos, cuatro, cinco, seis deditos, siete, ocho, nueve deditos y uno más son diez. Diez deditos. A ver. Ahora que cantamos la canción, ¿creen que podemos contar de 1 a 10 en español usando los dedos? So now that we've sang the song, do you think we could count from 1 to 10 in Spanish using our fingers? Should we give it a try? ¿Lo intentamos? ¿Sí? Muy bien. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
8, 9 y 10. 10 deditos. Muy bien. Ahora vamos a cantar la canción en inglés. So now we're going to go ahead and sing it in English. So we're going to need our two little hands back out. And we're going to need our 10 little fingers. Y ahora, is everybody ready? Are we ready to sing it in English? ¿Estamos listos para cantarla en inglés? Yeah? Okay, aquí vamos. Here we go. Two little hands, 10 little fingers. Two little hands, 10 little fingers. Two little hands, 10 little fingers. Count them all with me. One, two, three little fingers, four, five, six little fingers, seven, eight, nine little fingers, and one more makes ten. Ten little fingers. So how about we count from one to ten in English now using our fingers? Do you think we could do that? Podemos contar de uno a diez en inglés usando nuestros deditos? Yeah? Okay, here we go. Aquí vamos. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten little fingers. Great job, everybody. I love how you were able to count from one to ten in both Spanish and English. Me encantó ver que saben contar del uno al diez en español y en inglés. Ahora vamos a leer nuestro segundo libro. So now we're going to read our second book today. Así que voy a compartir mi pantalla. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen para que todo, todos podamos ver el libro juntos so that we can all see the book together. Y el libro se llama, the book is called La Hora de Contar Cuentos. Story time. Escrito por, written by Bonnie Phelps, ilustrado Illustrated by Aurora Aguilera, publicado, published by Power Kids Press. A ver, vamos a leer nuestro cuento, so let's go ahead and read our song. Mi abuela me pide que elija un libro. My grandma asked me to choose a book. Es la hora del cuento. It's story time. Y aquí miramos a la niña que está mirando todos los libros para ver qué libro es el que quiere escoger para la hora de cuentos. And here we see the little girl thinking really hard of which one of those books she wants to read for story time. Mi abuela le, enca abuela le encanta leer. Tiene cientos de libros. Elijo un libro acerca de los animales del bosque. My grandma loves to read. She has hundreds of books. I choose a book on animals, on animals from the forest. Tiene un oso en la portada. It has a bear on the cover. Can everybody see the bear over here? Pueden todos ver el oso en la portada on the cover? Abuela dice que los libros nos enseñan mucho. Grandma says that we can learn lots of things from books. Yo creo que la abuela tiene razón. I think grandma's right about that. Aprendo sobre venados y serpientes. I learn about deer and snakes. Después elijo un libro de cuentos. Next, I choose a book about short stories. Es acerca de un conejo gracioso. It's about a silly rabbit. ¿Pueden ver el conejo gracioso aquí? Can everybody see the silly rabbit here on the cover? That definitely, that definitely looks like the face of a silly rabbit to me. Yo creo que esa cara sí se mira de que es una cara de un conejo gracioso. Me gusta cuando abuela me lee. I love it when grandma reads to me. Usa diferentes tonos de voz para los diferentes personajes. Grandma likes to use different voices for the different characters in the book. También me gusta mirar las ilustraciones. I also like to look at the pictures inside of the book. Hacen que el cuento cobra vida. So the drawings make the stories come alive. Abuela inventa un cuento and then grandma makes up her own story. Es acerca de una princesa. 
It's about a princess. ¿Qué clase de princesa es? It's about a princess that was very brave. Que era muy valiente. Yo invento un cuento acerca de un búho. And then I make up a story about an owl. ¿Qué les parece ese cuento de ese búho? Inventar cuentos es divertido. Making up stories is so much fun. Miren este búho, la cara que tiene. Look at this owl on his face. He looks so surprised. Me encanta la hora del cuento. Cada libro tiene una historia que contar. I love story time. Every book has its own story to tell. Y aquí, mira qué felices se ven la abuela y la niña. And look how happy the grandma and the little girl look together reading books. Juntas leyendo libros, que es lo que les gusta hacer. Y colorín colorado, este cuento se ha acabado. The end. So that was the end of our second book. ¿Qué les pareció? What did you think of that book? ¿Les gustó? Sí? You did enjoy it? A ver, ¿a quién le gusta la hora de cuentos? Levanten la mano. So who likes story time? Go ahead and raise your hand. <laughs> Parece que a todos les gusta la hora de cuentos. So it looks like everybody likes story time. I like story time too. A mí también me gusta mucho la hora de cuentos que es muy divertido. It's a lot of fun to have story time together with all my friends. Ahora vamos a con, uh, cantar una canción de un animalito bien chiquito, pequeñito. So now we're going to sing a song about a itsy bitsy little animal. Does anybody know what kind of animal it could be? ¿Alguien sabe qué clase de animal está bien chiquitito, pequeñito? That's right, it's a spider. Es una araña, la araña pequeñita. So the itsy bitsy spider. Raise your hand if you know the itsy bitsy spider song. Oh, it looks like almost everybody knows the itsy bitsy spider song. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring out our little itsy bitsy spider and then we're gonna sing the song. We're gonna sing it in English first. Así que vamos a sacar nuestras arañas pequeñitas y vamos a cantar la canción en inglés primero. ¿Están listos? Are we ready? ¿Sí? Ok, aquí vamos. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Muy bien. A ver, ahora levanten la mano si se la saben en español, que se llama la araña pequeñita. So raise your hand if you've heard the Itsy Bitsy Spider song in Spanish. It's called La Araña Pequeñita. Okay, parece que algunos la han escuchado antes, no tantos como los que la han escuchado en inglés. Ahora, los que no la han escuchado antes en español, no se preocupen porque no la vamos a aprender ahorita. So it looks like some of you have heard it in Spanish, but not as many as the ones who've heard it in English. For the ones who haven't heard it in Spanish, don't worry because we are going to learn it today. Así que vamos a necesitar sacar nuestra araña pequeñita, so we're going to need to bring out our little itsy bitsy spider. Y vamos a cantar la canción en español, so now we're going to sing it in Spanish. Aquí vamos. Here we go. La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo lo secó. Y la araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. ¡Bravo! Que la cantaron muy bien. A ver, la vamos a cantar una vez más para las personas que no la habían escuchado antes para que se la aprendan muy bien. So we're going to go ahead and sing it one more time in Spanish for our friends who hadn't heard it before in Spanish so that they can remember it, okay? ¿Estamos listos? A ver, la araña pequeñita, vamos a sacar nuestra araña chiquita. Y aquí vamos, here we go. La araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. Vino la lluvia y se la llevó. Salió el sol y todo lo secó. Y la araña pequeñita subió, subió, subió. ¡Bravo! ¡Muy bien! A ver, ahora vamos a cantar otra canción. 
So now we're going to sing another song that I know that Miss Kayla Marie sang at her uh, musical jamboree. It's called Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Ahora vamos a cantar una canción que se llama Zoom, 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 que yo sé que la señorita Kayla Marie cantó en su programa que se llama Musical Jamboree. Así que vamos a cantarla en inglés primero. So we're going to sing it in English first. So first, we're going to need to do our hand movement. So when we do Zoom, 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 we're going to go like this with our hands. And then we're going to add our stomping feet. So we're going to go like this, Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Are we ready? Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. Okay, here we go. So we're going to count to three. And we're going to sing the song in, in English first. Here we go. One, two, three. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. If you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! <laughs> Muy bien. A ver, ahora la vamos a cantar en español. ¿Quién la ha escuchado en español antes? So now we're going to sing it in Spanish. And I'd like you to raise your hand if you've heard the song Zoom, Zoom, Zoom in Spanish before. Okay, parece que solo una persona la había escuchado antes. So it looks like only one person has heard it before. So no worries because we're going to learn here today. No se preocupen porque la vamos a aprender hoy. I actually hadn't heard it in Spanish until like maybe two weeks ago and then I heard it in Spanish and I liked it so much that I wanted to share it with my friends at Storytime. Así que yo la, había, yo la escuché en español por primera vez hace como dos semanas, pero me gustó tanto que dije me la tengo que aprender para compartirla con mis amigos en la hora de cuentos. Así que primero vamos a repasar las diferentes partes de la canción. So first we're going to go over the different parts in the song and how we sing them in Spanish. So when we go zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. In Spanish, we say zoom, 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 vamos a la luna. And then the part where we go, if you'd like to take a trip, climb aboard my rocket ship. In Spanish, we say, si quieres viajar conmigo, súbete a mi cohete. And then we do our zoom, 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 vamos a la luna. And then we count down. So we go cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. And then when we go blast off, we're going to say despegue in español. ¿Están listos para intentar? Are we ready to give it a try? ¿Sí? <laughs> okay, vamos a intentarlo juntos. Let's give it a try together. Aquí vamos. Here we go. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Vamos a la luna. Zoom, zoom. Vamos a la luna. Si quieres viajar conmigo, súbete a mi cohete. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Vamos a la luna. En cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. ¡Despegue! <laughs> ¡Qué bien! Hicieron buen trabajo por ser la primera vez. Everybody did an excellent job for that being your first time. Bueno, ahora que aprendimos una nueva canción, es hora de decir adiós por hoy. Pero antes de cantar nuestra canción de adiós, amigos, les quiero recordar que tenemos muchos otros programas virtuales que pueden ver en nuestra página web de smcl.org, incluyendo programas musicales como de la señorita Kayla Marie. Y también tenemos un programa musical que es en inglés y español con el señor Kenny. Y también tenemos otros programas bilingües que son en inglés y mandarin. Y siempre es bonito escuchar canciones y um, cuentos en otros idiomas. Y aparte de esos, tenemos tantos otros programas que tendría que pasar todo, toda la, en la hora solo diciendo los programas que tenemos. Pero toda la información está en nuestra página web de smcl.org. So before we sing our goodbye friend song, I would like to remind everybody that we have many more other virtual programs that you can check out on our website at smcl.org. So we have lots of musical programs like Miss Kayla Marie's Musical Jamboree. We also have a musical program that's in Spanish and English with Mr. Kenny. And then we have other bilingual programs that are in English and Mandarin. And it's always nice to hear stories and songs in a different language. 
And besides those, we have so many other programs that I just, I don't have time to tell you about all the different programs that we have, but you can definitely check them all out at our website at smcl.org. And with that being said, we're going to go ahead and say our good, we're going to go ahead and sing our goodbye friend song. Así que ahora es tiempo de cantar nuestra canción de adiós amigos. So vamos a visitar nuestra persona número uno. So we're going to need our person number one. Y nuestra persona número dos, and our person number two, y vamos a cantar la canción en español primero. So we're going to sing our song in Spanish first. Here we go. Aquí vamos. Adiós, amigos. Adiós, amigos. Ya me voy. Ya me voy. Me dio mucho gusto. Me dio mucho gusto estar con ustedes. Estar con ustedes. Adiós. Adiós. Now we're going to sing it in English. Goodbye, my friends. Here we go. Goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, my friends. It's time to go. It's time to go. It was very nice. It was very nice to be with all of you. To be with all of you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hasta la próxima. Adios. Until next time. Goodbye.